Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're going to build the LEGO Nickelodeon Spongebob Squarepants set, Glove World. This is set number 3816, 169 pieces. So this is a fairly old set. It looks like it came out in 2011, so as of recording this, this is about a five-year-old set. Um, pretty small. You can see it's got a little concession stand and a micro little merry-go-round type of or a ferris wheel a micro ferris wheel type of vehicle so let's go ahead and uh, bust this open so the spongebob theme was short-lived for lego um, it's different i mean it's based off of the cartoon so Sometimes it's kind of geared to a smaller audience. So we have a very thin single instruction book. It's kind of folded in half. I'm going to reverse fold it so it lays flat. We have a small sticker sheet with the Glove World stickers on it. We have a bag one and a bag two. Here's our small elements. I think I ordered this initially off of Amazon when it was on clearance. It's kind of interesting. It has three languages. It shows SpongeBob, and then it says Bob LePonge, and then Bob Esponja. So couple different languages and I noticed that on the back or oh, wait where was I was looking yeah right here it's got different languages as well so it must have been a set that was um, marketed and sold in different countries and they just printed it on one box so we have some minifigure heads in their own little bags here. First is Sandy, and we have the ice cream vendor. So those were on the, in their own little bags. So there's Sandy, she's of course the squirrel. Put this little globe element around her. So this is her breathing apparatus. Since she is underwater, she has to maintain oxygen inside of her helmet. So that's Sandy. And then we have the ice cream vendor. He's basically a fish. You can see there's a fin back there but a fish in a, a human form. He has a cup with a stud in it and then another cup with some ice cream scoops in it. So there's your ice cream vendor. So let's build the vendor's little ice cream stand. Should be a fairly simple build. It's also the entry to the park. So we have this pin joiner that we put there. We have this Technic pin that goes in there. And then we have a Technic thin lift arm attaches to that. So that's the little turnstile. So when they enter the amusement park, it records how many people go inside. So we have 
our first sticker. Looks like a menu with pricing maybe for these ice cream cone scoops. There, brick. This is going to be the canopy over the ice cream stall. Just like that. Another sticker. This is the entry sign into Glove World. And lastly, we have a flag with two Glove World logos on it. Attaches there, attaches there. All right, so that completes the build of bag one. There's some white studs left over and I didn't see us use any of them. Hmm. They gave us two white studs. They weren't used anywhere in the build, but they're extras. All right, so let's move on to bag number two. So we have the final two minifigures. We have Patrick Starr, and he is completely covered in ice cream residue. And we have SpongeBob. And SpongeBob uses the shorter legs. And he has a big Kind of a rectangular piece that just goes right over the the neck bar of the torso, and that that's it for SpongeBob. There's those two figures. So now we're going to begin the build of the micro Ferris wheel.
this instruction book is different than some of the more modern ones. It actually doesn't give you a part call out at each step. You can see at each one it's just a picture. So you have to look at the picture, figure out what has changed from the previous steps. It's kind of the old school way of instruction books. I kind of prefer these type of instructions because it kind of makes the build slightly more challenging. with extra pieces again. I did go back through all the steps in the previous bag and there weren't any white studs used at all so not quite sure what those are from. And I even looked at uh, or I'm looking at the picture on the box and I don't see any white studs being used. In it. Oh you know what I do see it now. It's um one extra but it goes on top of this guy's head. It's his little hat. Just saw that in the picture. Wouldn't think that a stud would be part of a minifigure. That's why I didn't even look at that. But I noticed it in the picture. Alright, so we have this axle. Goes through there. Have a half bushing. Don't put it all the way on because you want it to still be able to spin. Move that to the side. Do these guys. Some three long axles. on right there and we put a red cone on there see how that turns pretty easily all right so now we have the little carriages that they'll ride in with three of them identical Each one of these gets two trans clear studs and a tile in the middle. And then those tiles will get stickers, which I'm going to do last. Get them all built first. Alright. So they get the little Glove World logo sticker on there. Candy striped. 
putting small stickers on any type of one by piece is a little tricky. Okay, not bad. That is the final stickers. So bring our little frame back over. Insert inside each one of these Technic bricks, that little piece. And you can see it creates a nice little Ferris wheel type of thing. We could put SpongeBob in there, Patrick in there, and even Sandy in there. Sandy may actually sit a little bit better, yeah. Check that out. Pretty cool. That can be motorized pretty easily. Of course you don't want it to go too fast. You kind of want it to go pretty slow. So you'd probably motorize it with a warm gear. Something that converts high RPMs to slower RPMs. So that is it for the SpongeBob SquarePants Glove World set. We have the little ride, we have the, the entry area, and the ticket, or uh, ice cream. It's like the ticket stall and then the ice cream concession stand area. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Put a comment down below. Tell me your thoughts. Make sure to subscribe, like, and um, yeah, that's about it. Tell your friends. Come back tomorrow. We'll have another video. See ya.